Hello everybody, my name is Tucker, and welcome back to our Russian fishing for spin fishing character. Today we're over on Volkov, not really trolling, wanted to try something a little bit different today. I'm a bit worn out, so uh, grab the worst boat possible just to get over here. We're over on the uh, nameless island, little Xander here, uh, right here, facing the bridge here, and doing a little bit of jigging for whatever we can get, whether it's going to be Xander, Pike, Perch, that type of thing. We've got big one-out hook with the Heaven Creek Maggot 006 on, and we're using our good HSV. I got a 50 retrieval speed, and I've been doing two rotations out to four. We wrote, got a fish on before I could even do that again. On the two bottom rods, I do have small hooks. I think I got a 20 and a 22, and then either worm or red worm. Seeing if we can't get some clams or things like that. Or mussels, I guess. I said clams. A little bit worn out. Uh, my sister came in town. My birthday was earlier this week. So, sister came in town, went down, saw my mom and her. She's staying over at my mom's house for the weekend. And I uh, went down there expecting to spend two hours or so down there, but my dog was so good, I got to spend about four hours down there. So this is getting recorded a little bit late. It's almost nine o'clock my time already. It's actually after nine o'clock my time. It's 9.20. And this episode typically goes live at midnight. So it may not be fully processed by the time I get it up there. We fish this area quite a bit. The inner flue is right in front of us here. I just wasn't in the mood to troll it. And then I was kind of poking around on VK and saw this spot for pike and perch and thought, I might as well give it a try. Trying to decide if there's something on uh, rod two, I think was the bottom rod that just did the jingle and the jangle. I'm still debating buying a ultralight setup for this account. I haven't decided yay or nay yet, but I do think that could be fun. Get a five kilo ultralight setup. If I do that, the reel I want is on the New Year's Fair, Christmas Fair, whatever you want to call it, for about 2,000 silver. So I can afford the reel. I don't think I can afford a rod and all the other stuff yet for that. That is something I'm debating. Hello. This thing jumps, so I'm going to guess it's probably a pike. I don't think I've seen Xander jump too often. Yep, it's a pike. Two point one four one kilo pike. Kind of aiming on the right end of the bridge there, and just eating it out there as far as I can. Uh, 
Obviously, my voice may be a little bit weaker than normal today. Talking with my mom and my sister for a little bit. And the weather has my allergies a little bit unhappy with me today. Weather here has been a bit weird. We were almost room temperature midweek and we've had snow since Thursday. Not nothing major. Uh, Thursday night it stuck a little bit, but other than that, it's just been little flakes. Little perch. No, I guess I did actually get a fish over on my spin rod while I was grabbing that bottom rod. I just saw fish got away. Another small Xander. Another smaller fish. Tiny Xander. Looks like I'm about halfway to level 25. Just got that out of the corner of my eye. A little bit tired tonight, too. Slept really well last night for the first time in a while. Slept through a little bit of stuff that uh, went on from the four-letter W word that I wasn't necessarily needed for, so I'm kind of glad I slept well. One of those, if I heard my phone in the middle of the night, I might have actually gotten up and didn't really need to. Interesting. I've been able to hold uh, Big Step most of the time, and I've yet, well, of course, as I'm saying it, I've yet to see Jig Step on this cast.
last minute perch non marker Sounds like things are stressful for the puppy. He's all wore out and snoring. My sister did bring her little dog. And we ended up keeping them separate because it's just the way that made things good. This her dog tends to kind of not really attack, but a little tiny thing i don't i can't remember what it is but it's kind of not really a toy breed but a toy breed type dog and it doesn't believe it's as small as it is so her husband has a pit bull and it will fight with the pit bull and it's a little you know, 10 pound maybe dog. My dog just doesn't really we interact with other dogs on walks and things like that. And he's getting better about it. Being over overly excited and ended up grabbing a collar that will beep when I want it to or vibrate. It has shock on it, but I don't want to use a shock. And the uh, beeping and vibration kind of Work to keep him calm as needed. But he slept the whole way home from my mom's house and is now snoring on the couch next to me. But he was a very good dog. My mom was even impressed because I was over there for the uh, big football game last month and ended up having to go home because he would just bark all the time for some reason. And it was almost like a completely different dog today, which is good. This is a decent fish. It's pulling pretty good. Not expecting anything ma amazing out of this fish, but expecting a pretty good fish. I just don't know what it is. Might be a Xander. Could be a Pike. It hasn't jumped, so I'm leaning more towards Xander. Could be a small catfish as well. And it looks like a Xander. Nice, almost two kilos Xander, 748 XP. We're a little bit more than halfway to level 25. Still a lot less fish than my float account.
Oh, I bit and then let go. Mom made me meatloaf for my birthday dinner with uh, money rings and a uh, chocolate cake. So really good dinner, but I am worn out. Very full. Watched a little bit of basketball as well, too. So, uh, okay, you lost today. A bit of a surprise, so that's what it is. going to be interesting to see how everything works out there because they're uh coach having some medical fun hopefully everything turns out well for him next uh next year ended up spending some time in the hospital during the conference championship for some cardiac fun which is never good didn't get to coach in the first two rounds of NCAA attorney. And it looked like uh, Princeton continued on doing well. Another 15, they were a 15 seed that knocked off number two seed of Arizona. And I think they took out number seven seed. If I remember correctly, it was number seven seed. Zoo today. So far, it looks like the KU loss was the one big upset of the day so far. Oh, KU loss and Mizzou loss. KU was one of the uh, number one seeds. And I know there's a lot of KUs out there. I'm talking Kansas University or University of Kansas. Princeton took out Mizzou 78-63 today. Houston held on against Auburn. Wow, held on big. Last I had checked that score, they were very close. Another little perch on bottom. Got the two bottom rods at an eight meter uh, clip and no clip on this rod.
you wonder how tired I am. I actually couldn't remember which video I recorded you last night. You open up and log in to see which video I was recording today. Might try to get two episodes out tomorrow, do an early morning record and get uh, both characters. We'll see. Not going to promise anything. Honestly, when I look at the viewer numbers, when I went from recording two episodes a day to now not doing that, I'm only down in 10% viewers. So lost another fish. That was a last minute fish and fell off right as I lifted it up. I think I'm only down like 10% of views overall views and putting out a lot less content so seems like that has been probably for the better I know a lot of y'all enjoy my videos and I appreciate that but at the same time I just didn't have don't have the time to really do two videos a day especially during the week things picking up at the four letter w word as i kind of expected they would you know, i started recording videos just because i didn't have a whole lot going on work from home and could do so but didn't really change roles at uh, work just picked up some additional work some new stuff went live or not went live but became my responsibility at the start of the year so Having to figure out a whole new thing while still doing my old job too. Another small perch. Today's not going to be a good silver day. It's been a fun day. The most sander I've ever caught. Just realized I was sitting on a bag of dog treats. Yeah, someone's worn out because he didn't even wake up when I picked the uh, bag up there. It's always hard being a good dog. Really, he was doing nothing wrong. He was just very excited and things like that, too. So I don't blame him for being a little bit worn out. Plus, we went for two long WALKs and two RIDs. Okay, or three, really. Down to my mom's house there for four hours and back. Then I had to run an errand, brought him with me for a bit. Another small Xander. Another tiny Xander.
Ooh, that was a hiccup. Out of nowhere. It, <clears throat> I did stop at a, a gas sta station, grab a fountain drink that I'm having to drink up, but did not expect that hiccup. One of those, it happened before I realized it was going to happen. Didn't get to the me button in time. So 15 fish here in, we'll say 27 minutes, just shy of 27 minutes. So not been the best quantity, not been the best quality fish either. Something different. We haven't caught a lot of Xander, so I'm happy about that. Not too happy we lost two fish. Seems like we've had a lot. Yeah, 94 lost fish is kind of high. That's a good bite. Either a decent pike or a decent sander. In the two to three kilo range is my guess. I hope it's a Xander. I think they're worth more. It is a Xander. 1.744. Another smallish fish, probably not a marker unless it's a perch. Yeah, 500 gram perch, almost 600 gram perch. I know I didn't lock rod one. I'm okay with that. Little tiny bream. Am 
nice little sleeper there. looked at a security camera footage and thought someone opened my front door an hour ago forgetting that I went to go get the mail when I got home also misread the uh, time on the security cam footage thought it was right now not 15 minutes ago a little bit before I started recording here. Interesting that it didn't catch me going outbound to get the mail. For me, the my uh, mailbox is actually across the street from me. The houses on my street all have our mailboxes on the uh, west side of the street. I had to walk across the street to get the mail in the direction the camera is facing, and it didn't pick me up until I was coming back in, which isn't the best or didn't pick me up to alert at least there's a little zebra muscle 28 grams over <clears throat> let's switch over to the black maggot for a little bit see if we get anything just curious as we get closer to nighttime i don't know if i'll fish through the night or not we'll see Still, still thinking through what I want next out of this character. We either get an ultralight setup, we get another uh, rod and reel like this one, or we get the wood carving knife. Yeah, short of a marker there. And make some balsa minnows. All three of those have goods and bads too. Looks like a pretty good fish for a small hook. Big perch? Yep, 600 gram perch.
I haven't been paying too much attention to it. I know at one time we were at five two uh eight or five one eight, sorry. Uh XP. We're at five two three now, so gotten at least five thousand XP today. Not the best, I don't think, but not the worst either. And I think I am going to call it here after this cast. We're getting to nighttime. I'm getting worn out. My voice is getting real worn out. My nose is starting to run as well, too. So I feel like I'm about to sneeze. So I think I'm going to go ahead and call it after this cast. I actually didn't realize we were almost 40 minutes in also that we're coming up on the 30 minute mark. So I logged in earlier than I thought I did. But I logged in a little bit before noon. I must have logged in closer to 7 a.m. Dog dreaming noises begin as well. Now to remember where I parked my boat. Here it is. Actually thought that was it. I also thought about it and I only bought a one day boat ticket, so it kind of makes sense to wrap it up a little bit early. Any push comes to shove, I could just log off and log back in to get back to town if things ran long. So 22 fish, I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess lower than 50 silver today. I do not think today was a good silver day. We'll see. It's a decent XP day, even if it wasn't a good silver day. 27 silver, it was not a good silver day at all. Guess I better check the cafe though. Yeah, there's 15 uh, perch for my. There's 15 silver for my six perch there. 
I uh, didn't get a b any big zebra mussels. That would have been nice. Uh, Days Fimba. Uh, yep. Didn't get two, three coal pike either. So is what it is there. Wasn't the best day. That happens. So 15 silver plus. Twenty-three silver, so twenty-eight, twenty-nine, uh, uh, thirty-eight, thirty-nine silver on the day. So, not horrible. Could have been a lot better. Either way, I hope y'all enjoyed. We'll be back again tomorrow, and we'll see you then. Bye now.